And as more places reopen and more workers return to the office, contact tracing could become a regular part of our lives to help stop the spread of the virus. But it's not easy. And we have 13 Action News anchor Nina Porshukula joining us live right now from UNLV to tell us how it works and what's being done on campus to help health officials during the pandemic. Nina. Well, throughout this pandemic, we've been hearing about the many different ways UNLV scientists and students have been contributing to help stop the spread of coronavirus. And this morning, we are learning that a team here at UNLV is actually working with the Southern Nevada Health District to help with contact tracing on patients that have tested positive for COVID-19. The idea behind contact tracing is you are calling the people who are positive for coronavirus and then figuring out who they've come in contact with that they may have infected. And then you get in touch with those people as well with all of their contacts, find out if they're sick and give them recommendations on how to stop the spread of disease. Now, Brian Labus, he's an associate professor at the School of Public Health at UNLV. He also served on Governor Sisolak's medical advisory team for the COVID-19 response. And he says the team assisting the health district with contact tracing are all public health students. They've been working the phones, finding out where COVID-19 patients may have been. Then they call their contacts who may have been exposed and stay in touch for health updates and advise them on isolation and quarantine protocols. Then the people they get in touch with are also enrolled in the health district program for self reporting there. They have the option to use an app with information and report on any symptoms. Now UNLV is also planning on expanding this contact tracing team and they tell us that they're actually working with the state to do just that because there is such a great demand right now statewide for contact tracers reporting live Nina Bruce 13 action news.